Our coordinates, kids. This is where the fun begins. Um, I thought it began like at the beginning of last year, like last semester, whenever they walked in and we were there. Wasn't that this where the fun This is the fun, fun began? begins part two. Are you sure you haven't said that before? Part three. All right. Polar equations, though, are actually pretty cool and totally different than anything you've yeah. ever done before. Yeah. Here's the deal. We have this thing called the rectangular coordinate system. Which is where we've lived all our entire lives. Our entire lives. Now we're going to talk about a different way of looking at graphing things. We're in a completely different coordinate system. So we have similar rules, but they're not exactly the same. We're no longer going to be using x's and y's. Instead, we're going to call our points r, r, r and theta. R and theta. Yeah. And, and r would stand for the radius and theta will stand for the angle that you move through. Yeah, it's the idea is that um, your your first part R is how far out you are from the origin. We still kind of have an origin. It's right not there, called the, the origin necessarily. But, it's like the North Pole, but, like looking at the top of the Earth on the North Pole. Yeah, so we have the very middle, and so the R is how far out, if we could go straight out, how far out is the point? And then theta is the angle. We're starting at zero degrees like normal, mm -hmm. like what we normally do is zero Back degrees. Back to trig operations yeah. here. And so um, sometimes it's easier if you think of the graph like, like the way it's visualized on here, mm -hmm. basically. Actually, most of the time it's probably When you're doing polar do coordinates, it's easier to think this way. Yeah. And so uh, if, if we do that, then up here at the top, that would be if we think of like our unit circle or whatever, like this is pi over 2 which means that this would be pi over 6, this is pi over 3, because it's split up into thirds. Right, right. Okay, and then we pi could put... Pi over 4 put, is right in the middle yeah, there if you want Yeah, we could put a line in, in the middle that's pi over 4, and you can go around farther, or we could have used degrees instead of... Right. You know, because it's whichever. Or it you just could depends. just look at your unit circle because it's an identical match. Yeah, yeah, as far as the angle goes. Right. Yeah. So if we want to plot some points down here, this is uh, like technically example one, even though it doesn't say that anywhere. Um, plot the following points on a polar graph. So this first point, 2 comma pi over 3. Now, I like to start with theta. Interesting you say that. Uh, I, I often will as well start with theta. Yeah, because it's not real helpful to go out to first. We right. need to go to pi over 3, right. which is this line right here, pi over 3. So we need to rotate pi over 3 units. Yeah, so on this line, we're going to go 2 out. And so each of these marks is 1, so that 2 is right here. There I you go. Oh, that is a different color. I was like, I didn't pick yeah, a very that's, good that's color. That's it. That's P right there. That's P right there. Two comma pi over three. Yeah. Now you could you could go in order, but sometimes it can be a bit tricky. I feel if yeah. you go in order. Yeah. Yeah. But Especially if we look at this next problem here. Right. Because okay, the radius. Oh, negative one. Oh boy. We're, this we're, is this we're, is. Ugh. We're talking about how far out it is in that direction, and so we have to have a concept of what having negative one instead of positive one means. So we we still go to three pi over four. Right. Which is going to be halfway over here. This is three pi over four. Okay, so it's going to be along some line here, but, but this is the positive direction. Right here would be a positive one. We want to go negative one. Which is the other direction. Right. This right here is, I know he just stole a ship. I, I know, that's point Q, it's negative one. So, because this is the positive direction. Right. And we wanted to go the we negative, go the negative way. direction. Yeah. So, and, and that part takes a little getting used to because that's, that is the one trick with, with polar coordinates that can be a little that, challenging. That can definitely be a, mm -hmm. a challenge. So let's try here two twenty or 3 comma 225. So again, let's go to 225. Oh, but Q, that's why I think the angle is easier because you have right. to go to that you angle, gotta go to that and, angle then and then look go. at negative right. 1. Right. Okay. Anyway, 225 is over here. Right, 225 right there. Mm -hmm. We're going, Use your circle card for reference yeah. as always if you need. Absolutely. We go positive three, so zero, one, two, two three. three. Right there, put it right. Yeah, that's a good one. And right that there. one's yep. R. There we go. Okay. Just drawing them is not that bad. We're, no. You know, we're just going to do a whole lot more. And one thing, we'll talk about this on the next slide, but since we've got the picture up here, like. Oh, don't steal my thunder. Let me talk. Go ahead. There's more than one way to write each point. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, that wasn't what exactly you were going to say. That's exactly what I was going to say. Ah. There's more than one way we can write each point. 
Um, and so that's going to maybe give us some issues or whatever. But think about it like the way we did Q, especially, we went to 3 pi over 4 and then we went to this side. Wouldn't that point also be what's that angle on this side? Negative. Uh, 315? Negative. Or negative 45? Pi over 4. Or negative pi over 4. Oh man, we just figured out oh. three different ways. But Mind blown. We would, if we use the angle on this side though, that would make it a positive one instead of a negative one. Right. So there's tons of ways to write these, and that's gonna be one of the that'll be a challenge issues actually. Issues yeah. or problems yeah. that we encounter as lots we of go. practice, lots of practice, and you'll you'll get it. Yeah. But you've got to practice it. You can't just look and do. Yeah. You gotta you gotta get some good practice in. Yep. All right. It's gonna... uh, as we mentioned. There are a lot of different ways you could write the same point in a polar coordinates. A lot of different ways. In fact, infinitely many different in ways. In fact, infinite. I, you know, uh, Chuck Norris counted to infinity twice. That sounds like something he would do. Only Chuck. Yeah, okay. So we have like a formula up here. If we have the polar coordinate r theta, any other polar coordinates of that point must be of the form this or this, where n is any integer. So you might remember at some point we did a, a thing where we had uh, Co-terminal angles. Right? We talked about having k, and then we said k is an element of the integers. The integers. Similar thing is going on here. Um, and so... We want to find all the polar coordinates for the point 3 comma pi over 3. First off, remember this is r and theta. We just plug it into these. Just right, just so, do right it. there. So, so the first one uh, would be 3 and then and then pi over 3 plus 2, two and pi. Okay. And you could look at that real quick and be like, okay, can I simplify that? Is there anything I can do with that? We I mean, get a common denominator, but to could. me, that's not I actually very helpful. No, I don't get that part. So that's the first part. And or, it's more work. As a teenager, who wants to do more work? Not, not me, but I'm, no. not a, I'm not a teenager, but not me. Yeah. So here we need negative r, so negative 3, You're right. comma. Pi over 3 plus 2n plus 1 times pi. Gee, 2n plus 1, what does that do? Uh, it gets us to odd numbers. Which is what we, we need to have odd pies here, not even pies. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like yeah. these are all. Those are we, all even this pies. Is, this is basically giving us like all of the the places that are, like if we have pi over three, that's here, right? So this right. is just having us rotate around two pi. Right. Two like pi. Three. Two pi. Two pi. Two pi. Okay. This one is taking us to this side. But negative. Yeah. So that we have that negative. It's taking us to these angles over here. And then you would say. Uh, something after this where you know n is still we're still having that issue of n has to be an integer yeah you can't have like n equal to 1.7 or some weird thing right and so something we could do is we could like say hey find three points from this you just plug in like zero one two and three you know yeah. whatever or we could ask you um, to name all of them between like two angles, like between right. zero and two pi. Right, what are they? What are they, you know? And so you'd have to kind of fill in or th or draw and think about what's going on. Yeah. And it's totally doable. It's not a, an impossible thing to do. No, not impossible. No. But I believe if I am not mistaken, there's four ways to write each one between zero and two pi. Because we could have um, the positive angle. Well, right. okay, we could have this angle and yeah. a positive. Right. We have um, between zero and two pi. I, I think, think so. Because th then I could go, I could go a negative angle. No, maybe I, maybe so it's got between gotta, negative two between pi, negative and, two pi, pi. And, two pi and two pi. Yeah. Yeah, because then we go a negative, and this would be still right. a positive three. But then if we look this direction at our our negative threes, there's two ways: back to a positive right. and a negative. So between negative two pi and positive two pi, there's there should four be ways. four ways. Right. And so between zero and two pi. There should be two ways. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, okay. there we go. Now we're talking. Cool. Now, here's why this whole thing is going on that we're now talking about a different coordinate system because 
basically sometimes it's easier to work way in this other system. Way easier. And way. You're, you're not really going to see that actually happen until calculus and maybe not even for a while in calculus, like calc three or four. But you know what? Let's just cut down to the chase here. It's easier to write the equation of a circle in polar form than it is in Cartesian or rectangular form. Right, and that's something and, that we're going to look at. Right, and that's the later. easiest application yeah. of that one. And so because of that, because basically what we're doing is saying that sometimes it's easier to work in polar versus rectangular. Okay, we'll call our normal way is rectangular, this is polar. Okay, because of that we need to be able to switch between the two. Right, yeah, you got to so, go back and forth. So these are our conversion-y things. Hey, basically. wait a second, x equals r cosine theta. That's like... Uh, haven't well, we used... Haven't we been using that? Theoretically, they may have this written on their unit circle card somewhere. Right. So they just moved the R over to solve it for X. They and what, just moved the R over to solve y, for y. y equals R sine theta is the yeah. same thing. Yeah. yeah. And this, hey, like, Pythagorean hey, theorem. Hey, we've... And tangents, why we've... I think we've, we've used, used all, of all of this. That's like why we've it's, and we've used most of it recently, yeah. even with vectors, which is probably okay. why it's in okay. this section. All right. All right. All right. So example three, we want to find the rectangular coordinates with the given polar coordinates. Now, we said there's a lot of ways you could basically take the same um, rectangular coordinate and write it with polar. There's a lot of ways you can do that, but polar only has one thing in rectangular. Okay, so only like one? this, there's only, there's one, only one xy that goes with this r theta. Are you sure? I'm positive. I'm positive you're positive. Okay. Sheets okay. okay. I was okay. just messing around. So, but this is actually really simple. If we have r and theta, we just need to, because we want rectangular coordinates, which is x comma y. Just plug y, them in there. Plug it in, plug it in. Hey, hey that sounds like it could be a commercial. It could be. I could be rich someday. Yeah. But here we are. So, okay, so 3 sine uh, 5 pi over 6. I'm just writing it this way because this is our point, x comma y, right? Hey, uh, this could be this, on a no y calculator portion of something BT dubs. It could be, because you could look at your unit circle at 5 pi over 6, and the cosine of 5 pi over 6 is negative square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. So 3 times that. So negative 3 square root of 3 over 2. Yep. Uh, this would be 1 half. Positive 1 half. Yep, so positive 1 3 half. halves. Yep. So there you go. And. Um, if it is on your unit circle like that, then put the actual square roots and, and fractions. Don't give us a decimal. If you give us a decimal, it will not be correct. Right, right. And and we'll try to specify by, you know, it's really easy to know that you should have, like, square roots and stuff if it is on a no calculator right, part. Right, right. But, all right, so let's try this one. Okay. Same deal, but this time we will have to use a calculator because... I don't know if you know, negative uh, 200 is not on the I, unit circle. I might have a calculator on my phone. Uh, since I left the other one, I don't know where. Oh, that's not awkward. It's not, uh... Well, 2 cosine negative 200, I happen to know off the top it's of not, my head, is negative 1.879. What? How did you do that? And 2 sine negative 200 is 0. 0.684. Uh, got it. 2 times... Just off the top of my head. Oops. Okay. I'm lying. Um, I have cosine it written 200. down. 200... I came prepared. Uh, cosine, cosine, times two. Negative one point eight seven nine. What's going on behind us? Bears, be careful. Okay, I just I just they noticed may. that they were behind us. What? We don't. What? We don't. Uh, you gotta watch out. Oh, you gotta watch out. It's kind of cold in here. It's uh, it's the Arctic. Bun yeah, bundle up. Yeah. Did you get if, your calculator to work yet? Uh, yeah. If they can't see you, they can't eat you. All right. Converting from rectangular to polar coordinates. So we would go backwards here. This is x and y. And typically, I guess they'd have to tell us where they, what kind of angle they want from us, like right. between zero and two pi, right? Yeah. Totally. Whatever you said. Something like that, maybe. So. <laughs> Watch, Watch out, there's a chair there. There's a chair there and a polar bear back there, so. We put would my now gloves use on. the right side here to find r and theta. So negative 1 squared plus 1 squared. Square root that. To square get r. root of 2. See, if you don't put that negative in parentheses, you get 0 right there, and that's, that's bad. That's bad. That's that bad. does not it's, have an yeah. r value of 1 zero. squared plus 1 squared equals 1. Psh. Yeah, now theta equals inverse tangent of y over x. 
I feel like we just did this with like vectors. I mean, it's is quite it, possible. Isn't this exactly like finding the magnitude I mean, and direction I, of a vector? I feel like yes. Hey, inverse tangent of negative one, we could actually do the it's unit negative circle pi over that. four. Uh, it is, but if we're trying to go between zero and two pi. So it'd be seven pi over four. Seven pi over four. So one possibility for our point is square root of two comma seven pi over four. And that's how you would leave it. You would not decimal that out. No. That is an exact answer right there. No. If you decimal that out, um, the, the bears will, the bears eat, will you. eat you. Yeah. Uh, and we, we could have, though, gone the other side and done a negative, but it, why bother? I mean, if it just wants one, why if bother? You, you know, if you want to be a wanna. cool guy, you could do it again and get another one. Yeah, totally. This one's now, this one's weird and easy, but looks hard all at the same time. Right. And so we can do it the same way we did this last one, but sometimes it's helpful to draw a picture and it gives you some practice of like drawing in rectangular form. I don't know. Yeah, okay. My bad. So this is a rectangular point, negative three comma zero. There it is right there. If we think about what theta would be to get around It'd to have that. have to be pi. Have to be pi. Theta's got to be pi. Okay, and then how far out is it? It's one, two, three. It's just three. Okay, that only works if it's on a quadrant line. Right. Otherwise, right. you still have to do the Pythagorean theorem, right. even if you can figure out what angle it is. But we didn't really need to do Pythagorean theorem. Yeah, because so. it'd be negative three squared plus zero squared. Square root it. That's just three. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Set. Okay. Loving back up here because you know wild animals. Behind us. Behind us. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. All right, equation conversion. We're going to use the things that were on the previous slide, so you should you'll may you may have to like like uh, turn the page on your notes. Uh oh. Okay. Just it'll be All okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Or write them on again on the second page, something like that. We're going to convert to rectangular form. All right, I like. There's it. a little bit of artistry to this. Like I, I, I love mean, artistry. it's kind of like I'm going to be careful about saying this. It's kind of like trig identities. But it's not trig identities. But it's not trig identities. The reason it's kind of like it is because once you practice the different ways, like there's only so ways they can right. that they're going to show it to you. So you have to make sure and practice a whole bunch of different right. ways and right. see all of the tricks and then Get go back and be out. like, okay, can I recognize which trick to use when? So let's do this. Um, convert to rectangular form. We have r equals four cosine theta. Now we have uh, uh, r, x, x it, equals what? R r cosine theta. But that's not what we have. How do we get an R in front of oh, cosine? I, I know exactly what to do. Kay. Okay. Back in the old days when you took algebra one, you learned that whatever you did to one side, you had to do to the other. I remember that. And as long as you did that, everything was totally legal. Totes above board. Yeah, so totes okay. Here's how I'm going to get that R in front of the cosine. I'm going to multiply both sides by R. I know it's really weird, but this is standard operating procedure. All right. B okay. Back up just a sec. Our goal is to get rid of the r and the theta right. and get x and y. I know this is really okay. crazy, but to, to okay. hang in there with me. Don't panic. Just so write r down. r squared. Yep. Oh, no, that, that, that was a bad What lag. was that? That was a... Equals. Okay, there we go. 4r four four. cosine theta. Now, okay, now. Okay, now. Shh. What, what are you doing? I, mess, I messed up. Just keep talking. Okay, so we got 4r cosine theta. Okay, now. 4r cosine theta matches the r cosine theta part from the x. So let's plug it in. So let's just r squared equals, okay, or you could do that. Okay, 4x, 4x right there, boom. Okay, now, okay. here's the weird thing. r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. Right, it's written in our notes. It's, it's, written, it's, it's right, written there. right there. It's there actually it probably on your unit circle now, as well. Now, I'm looking at the purple line, and I don't see an r or theta so Technically, we're done. Te technically, we are. And... You might see the book um, answer could be a little different, right? Because they are like, oh, this this is a some kind of a like an ellipse kind of a thing, yeah, probably, yeah. and they complete the square on it. But we haven't really talked about that stuff yet, so we're going to just hang off we'll on just that. Hang but off uh, and this is this is an it. acceptable answer. This is totally Cartesian Totes rectangular. Acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Totes accepties. Okay. So same deal. New problem. R equals four secant theta. We want to get rid of R and theta. Uh, multiply by R. Secant is not something that we have something with. It's not like it's not we have with. x equals r I know I have a plan. Theta. I have a plan. Okay. Rewrite it in sine and cosine. Okay. Uh like I was going to plan. We the have word. r cosine theta and r sine theta but we don't have anything with secant. So right. okay, you're or, saying or cosecant. So you're saying secant is 1 over cosine. Right, so which is 4 over cosine. Okay. Okay, now. I here's an idea. Okay. 
you learned a long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Naboo was under an attack. Naboo was under an attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, okay. Okay. So, multi- but whatever you do to one side, if you do it to the other, it's totes legals. Yeah. So we could multiply. So both what sides. we could do is multiply both sides by cosine theta, and and then what happens? It you keep writing, and I'm not. You're supposed to be narrating what I'm writing. <laughs> That's how this works. Have you not learned this yet? We've been doing this for a few months now. The bears got me nervous. Yeah, okay. So anyway, okay. once you multiply both sides, now you've got r cosine theta equals 4, and we know... r cosine theta r is... r cosine theta is x. So x equals 4. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Okay, chitty, no, chitty, no bingo. r's, no thetas, done. Done skis. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Example 6, convert to polar form. Let's go backwards. <laughs> polar form... <laughs> In some ways, is easier, I feel like. I feel like there's a little less technique to it, but they also can make it more challenging because what we need to do is we're foil. Gonna, yeah, we're going to have to like, foil. Remember like, that yeah. x minus 3 squared is x minus 3 times x yeah, minus we, 3. We've got to get something where it's like x squared, x, x or squared just x's. y's, x's. Yeah, we, we can't have all this separation of x's. Separation and y's. of variables. Huh? Yeah, we got. Huh, that's, that's a, a story that's for another a day. Thing. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. That's coming about this time next year, kids. Let's combine some like terms. For example, uh, wait. Yeah, well, okay. Here, 9 and the, 4 and 13. 9 and 4 and 13. 9 and 4 gives us 13 on this side, but if we subtract them A long over, time ago, you learned in algebra class that if you did something to one side and the other at the same time, it was totally legal. Yes. So... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the third time today that you've said that. Uh, so I try to keep a straight face. Okay. Subtract uh, 13 Subtract from Subtract over. Sides. Now, x squared, and, x squared plus y squared equals look, something. Look, look, and there's an x squared plus y squared there. Guess what that is? You'll it's r guess. squared. Yes. It's r squared. You, you got I that guess. on the first I got guess. It. I got it. And then x equals... R cosine theta. And then y equals... R sine theta. <laughs> You're writing today. What is the deal? It's your MacBook. Don't oh, blame me. Jeez. Don't blame the user. Blame the technology. Okay. Now, we could leave our answer like this, but there's actually something else we could do. Because they oh, all no. have an R. So you could take the R out. What, what's going to happen? Are we, gonna, are we getting ready to shake loose an R? We're we gonna, are. Yeah, we're going to get rid what, of it. What every, a long time ago you learned... That I changed that to a plus sign because I thought it was a plus sign, but this is an R. A long time ago, you learned that if you do something to one side of the equation and something to the other side at the same time, it's totes legal. So we can divide by R on both sides. Yeah. And, and now, now that's not legal with it's, it's, rectangular coordinates. No, can't polar, do it. Polar, though, is okay. The other thing we learned is zero divided by whatever is totes zeros. So... And then as long as we're going here, we could solve this for R. Because in the next section, we'll talk about graphing these bad boys. And you want it to be R equals. You want it to be. Just like you want to graph Y equals. Because it, we're going to talk about how you can change your calculator over to polar instead of rectangular. And then it gives you, instead of having Y equals, you have R equals. So yeah. we would want it solved right. for R like this. Yeah. So that would be our answer right here. It's a good, good talk. It's a good answer. It's a good talk. Yeah. Okay, the polar bears have caught our scent, so we're going to wrap it up on this slide right here. And get the uh, doohickey out of Dodge. Get the doohickey. <laughs> um, that's not quite how that phrase goes. Doohickey okay. indeed. Now, maybe on that very first slide, maybe you thought that that picture of that polar graph looked similar to something sometimes seen in movies. Do you know what I'm talking about? A uh, radar thing? A radar thing. And so actually yes. I think they might actually use polar coordinates like for real whenever they're doing that Shut radar Shut the door, thing. no way way I, it might i don't know actually because get out of town i will not get out of town why do you keep telling me to get out of town it's so much pressure okay let's draw a picture for i our audience like it to see what's okay. going on we have two planes on a radar polar coordinates eight miles at 110 so, so 110 let's find 110 is here ish yep, right. Okay, and so eight, we would basically the way you would draw this if you don't have that fancy graph paper is go out eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, there's the point. They go perfect, like okay. eight little rings right from the middle. Yeah, um, but there were only 
seven rings, weren't there? Well, there was one so, ring to rule them all. Yeah. Okay, and then five miles at one 15 ring degrees. To bind them. Okay, so this way, 15 degrees. And we're going out five, so just draw one, two, three, four, five. And it doesn't have to be perfect or exact or anything. Yeah, I did just, not need to make it. dotted lines. I'm not really sure why I did, but. Because that's what the cool people do. We want this distance right here. How I kinda, in the world are we going to do that? Kind of looks like a triangle. Do you know that? Uh, shut the door. No. Okay, so in this triangle, this length would be eight. This <sighs> one would be five. We want this side right here. It's not a right triangle, though. No, but so don't do the Pythagorean. No, thing. not the Pythagorean theorem. Actually, we need to figure out what that angle is. It could be a right triangle. You know, it could be. I'm thinking not, but it might be. How far is it from one ten to fifteen? If we subtract those, that would be 95. what? 95. 95. So the, it's close, but close is not going to cut it. <laughs> so, this is not the Super Bowl. So we're going to use the law of cosines because we have side angle side. So we're law trying cosines, to find it's coming back. x. Yeah. Okay. So look at your unit circle card where you've got the law of cosines written. x squared equals, uh, so that could be a, b, or c, depending on how you want to label this. But we'd have 8 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 8 times 5 cosine 95 degrees. We just need to solve that on the right side, like figure out what all that is, and then um, square root both sides. You got it? I'm on it. You working it out? Yeah, and I got 9.8. Uh, 9.8 miles. Worked out perfect. That's so great that you did it that quickly on your iPhone, which th that calculator app is not real conducive to it, doing a lot of It's reverse Polish method, and I'm a reverse Polish method expert. Okay, so they're 9.8 miles apart, so um, that's great. That, that answers the question. That's great. We're going to head out and hope the polar bears, which uh, that's our code word. Code. Code word. Polar Keep to bears. the code. Okay, and we'll see you on the flip side. In the further southern regions of the world, not up here in the Arctic. Yeah. 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 Okay, good talk. Okay.